The CIA chief, the Russian National Security Advisor, visit Delhi for talks. Terrorists in the new Afghan government, India, mulls its options. Meanwhile, 17 of 33 of Afghanistan's new ministers are on the UN terror list. One of their leaders says no PhD is required or masters. Mullahs are the greatest. Despite Taliban dangers, Afghan women continue their protests. Journalists attacked. The centre hikes wheat prices by 2%, the lowest in over 10%. The Agriculture Minister says the minimum support price is actually 100% of production cost. Farmers say diesel price hikes have pushed up our costs. Farmer protests continue in Karnal. The Haryana government has talks with farmers, but these fail again. The farmers say they are ready for a long-term protest on the site. They demand action against the IAS officer who said break the heads of farmers at the end of last month. A historic decision, the centre allows women at the uh, defense, National Defence Academy. Uh, this uh, paves the way for women to get permanent commission after the 10 plus 2 stage. The centre clears a deal for 56 Airbus military aircraft, the C-295, will replace the Avro which first entered service with the Indian Air Force in 1960. There are 56 aircraft in order, 40 will be built by the Tatas in India in the 20,000 crore deal. Over 100 passengers in Assam are in a boat collision, at least 30 have been rescued from the Brahmaputra. After Uttar Pradesh, viral fever affects children in Bihar. UP border districts and other areas as well. Wards overflowing. The Noida district magistrate back to work after an incredible Paralympic win. The National Security Advisor Ajit Doval has met the, uh, the uh, CIA chief, William Burns, in Delhi. The meeting took place, ironically, on the same day as the visit of the Russian National Security Advisor and at a time when the Taliban announced the names of people who would run Afghanistan. This man, Mullah Mohammad Hassan Akhun, the new Afghan Prime Minister, is among 17 Taliban ministers who is a UN-designated terrorist. Among others, the rarely seen acting Interior Minister Sirajuddin Haqqani, whose Pakistan-backed terror network bombed the Indian Embassy in Kabul in 2008. 58 were killed, including four Indian nationals. The new government of the Taliban, far from being a new and changed version, are the same group of hardliners that defined global terror in the late 90s and into the century. In New Delhi, the National Security Advisor met the CIA chief and the Russian National Security Advisor. India's Afghanistan policy over the last two decades has been closely linked to what the U.S. does. But with the situation in Afghanistan being what it is, turning to Russia may be an option. Moscow continues to maintain its Kabul mission and ahead of the meeting of the Russian National Security Advisor Nikolai Patrushev with his Indian counterpart in Delhi, India's ambassador to Moscow in a direct statement reported in Russian media said the Doha talks with the Taliban prior to the collapse of the Ashraf Ghani regime have not yielded the right results. I think one lesson is that it is better that India and Russia work together with respect to Afghanistan. That is the most important lesson to us. A less publicized visit and ironically on the same day as the visit of the Russian NSA has been by America's CIA chief William Burns. Intelligence sharing and a joint strategy on handling terror was a part of the agenda. No photos of the visit have been released. For India, engaging the U.S. remains critical to keeping an eye on Pakistan. So far, the ceasefire along the line of control continues to hold, but security agencies remain wary about any possible shift of terror groups from the Pak-Afghan frontier to the Indo-Pak border. With Neeta Sharma and Srinivasan Jain, Vishnu Shom for NDTV. Well, some important news as far as the farmer protests are concerned. These protests continue outside the Karnal administrative building in Haryana with several demands, including the rollback of the farm laws uh, continuing. Meanwhile, the union cabinet has approved the increase in minimum support prices of rabi crops. It's 40 rupees per quintal each. That may sound a lot. It is, in fact, an increase of just 2% and is the lowest in over a decade. <laughs> Come 
Amid a fresh showdown with farmers, the center has increased the guaranteed price for next year's wheat crop by 2%. In fact, this 2% increase is the lowest in over a decade. Farmers have been protesting three controversial laws which aim to open up the agriculture market as they fear that it will mean an end to this guaranteed price or MSP the centre pays. However, the government has a different explanation that it's not a 2% hike but should be seen as a 100% hike as the MSP of 2015 rupees is double that of the cost of production. In 2015, the MSP of 2015 वो 2015 हुआ है न्यूनतम समर्थन मूल्य पर खरीद की दर ये 100 परसेंट की वृद्धि एक तौर से लागत पर है 1500 रुपए का तो डीआईपी का कट्टा गिरते हैं हम नीचे और 1200 रुपए की थैली गिरती है बीज की जो मारे से 2000 को लेके और 100 रुपए किलो मारा को देते हैं वापस तो पांच पांच कट्टे उसमें यूरिया के गिरते हैं और एक एकड़ में लगता है एक एकड़ में तो लगभग 15000 रुपए का खर्चा आता है एक एकड़ में उन्होंने पिछले एक साल के अंदर 2500 रुपए से ऊपर डीजल का भाव बढ़ा दिया गया है पेस्टिसाइड का भाव कितना बढ़ा दिया गया है पर मैं धान के ऊपर बोल रहा हूं कि 2600 रुपए खर्चा आता है लेकिन हमें एमएसपी कितना मिलता है 1858 in the last one decade, which has certainly upset the protesting farmers. The center has also increased the MSP of other crops like masoor dal, barley and sunflower, as well as the ceiling price on sugarcane by 5 rupees, lowest since 2017-2018. However, these are not paid by the center but by states or private buyers. With Muhammad Ghazali and Sunil Prabhu Osama Shab for NDTV. So a permanent sit-in protest is what the day has come an end to at the Mini Civil Secretariat in Karnal. The protesters are sitting here after marathon round of talks with the district administration. The talks remain inconclusive. The leaders of Sanyukt Kisan Morcha gave a call that farmers will sit here until the government accepts their demands. Now you can see tent has been set up through the day. Tent was set up here. Farmers have come from Karnal and many other districts. And besides this tent, some Permanent structure is also coming up. On this side, if you see, the Langar Seva as usual at every farm protest site comes up. And even here, local volunteers from local NGOs, local Gurdwaras, they are managing uh, the food for the protesters here. Meanwhile, security is still deployed here. Uh, in the evening, there was a situation of unease when the talks failed. And everybody was anticipating that maybe the government may take some action. But that didn't happen. So as of now, the SKM leaders have left the venue but they have given a call that farmers will continue their sit-in protest outside the mini secretariat in Karnal district. With camera person Ashwini Mehra in Karnal, Mohammad Ghazali for NDTV. In a historic move, the center today told the Supreme Court that women will be admitted into the National Defense Academy for permanent commission into India's armed forces. The government, however, said that it needs some time to frame guidelines to pave the women the way for women to take NDA courses. The Supreme Court has said that they should reply by the 20th of September. Sometime next year, the first batch of girls, just 17 years old, will get a shot at an enormous dream to become officers of the Indian Armed Forces, where one day they could rise to become a general, air marshal or admiral, perhaps someday even the army, navy or air force chief. Today, after much coding from the Supreme Court in an earlier hearing, the government said women will be admitted into the National Defence Academy, that is the NDA, the gateway to permanent commission in the armed forces. Unlike NDA recruits, Women candidates are presently granted short service commission and only later considered for a permanent birth, a system that affects their growth prospects in the service. In today's hearing, the center told the Supreme Court, it's a delight to share this, girls will be admitted in the NDA. The Supreme Court told the center that they're extremely glad to know that armed forces themselves took a decision to induct females in NDA. 
and that the court wants them to take a proactive approach themselves in ensuring gender equality rather than waiting for courts to intervene. जो है महिलाएं अब वो नेशनल डिफेंस एकेडमी में परमानेंट कमीशन के लिए आ सकेंगी और उनकी एंट्री होगी और ये अपने आप में एक महत्वपूर्ण बात है और सभी महिलाएं जो भविष्य में अपीयर होने वाली हैं उन सभी को बधाई Divyanshi Agarwal who lives in Indrapuram in Ghaziabad passed the class 12th examinations with 99% and now she feels that with this decision girls will soar higher Main is baat se bahut hi khush hu kyunki main apne desh ke liye NDA mein jana pasand karungi main army mein ja kar apne desh ki seva karna pasand karungi Shambhavi Singh a resident of Noida who is studying in class 11 says that this will fulfill her dream ये एक बहुत ही बड़ा और वेलकम डिसीजन है इस डिसीजन से हम सभी लड़कियां अपने मन पसंद की सर्विसेज चाहे वो आर्मी हो नेवी हो या एयरफोर्स हो उसमें भाग ले पाएंगे और अपनी कंट्री को अपने पेरेंट्स को प्राउड करा पाएंगे और जैसा कि आप सभी जानते हैं कि लड़कियां जमीन से लेकर आसमान तक हर जगह ऊँचाइयाँ छू रही हैं In an interim order on 18th August the top court had slammed the gender mindset of the army forcing the government to act Women are presently allowed entry into 10 arms of the army but not the fighting arms a decision to accept women into the army's infantry armored mechanized forces and artillery is still to be taken the Indian Air Force has deployed women in combat roles and employs women fighter pilots the navy is also looking to progressively induct women on board warships The Supreme Court also said today that it was conscious of the fact that reforms cannot be made in a day and granted time to the government to file its detailed affidavit about the guidelines by 20th September. The next hearing in the case will take place on 22nd September. In New Delhi with Vishnu Shom and Rajiv Ranjan this is Sukirti Dwedi for NDTV. An important defence deal has been cleared for 56 transport aircraft for the Indian Air Force. These are Airbus military aircraft, the C295, a replacement for the venerable Avro which first entered service with the Indian Air Force in 1960. 16 aircraft will be imported within 48 months. 40 will be made in India. The deal is worth over 20,000 crore. In West Bengal where Mamta Banerjee's by-election is getting a lot of attention it's the seat of Bhawanipur uh, which uh, the focus is on it's a seat the chief minister won in 2011 and 2016 the party is confident of a hat trick Obishek er opor jodi kono dai kono beaini case thake tumi ainoto koro amar kono apotti nei kintu kono case nei kono evidence nei tomake puman korte hobe tumi chor ekta intention na thakle bolte paren आज के नौ घंटा जिरा कर और पढ़े बोल जो तुम्हीं काल के आबारे जो। A low-key start to her poll campaign with a small meeting of party workers, but her agenda-setting speech, high voltage, attacking BJP for deploying central agencies against her party leaders, and even the prime minister for what she said was his failure on the vaccine front. If co-vaccination is not allowed. how prime minister you are going to usa we hope that before you are going to usa co vaccine must be recognized by the world health organization so that other people also get the opportunity bjp is big target and bhawanipur a test of her bid to forge opposition unity against it before 2024 Congress is taking it seriously and will not field a candidate against her. The left will fight, but BJP admitted some potential names had backed off. Ami to bole dilam Congress podoler shorboccho netritter siddhanto Bhawanipure Mamata Banerjee er biruddhe Congress kono prarthi debe na, kono prachar korbe na. Kom onek suggestion eseche. To जा जा नाम अपना भाव जान वाम मीडिया है चोल चे सभी लिस्टर में उत्ते आचे तार भी तो तक के चौहान को हमारे दिल्ली तक पढ़ा ची। ममता बनर्जी has won from Bhawanipur in 2011 and 16. Her party is confident of a hat trick. One of Ramta Banerjee's many messages to her workers as she set the ball rolling for her elections was, don't take this vote lightly. It's important in the context. of 2024 clearly from the soil of bhawanipur 
Mamta Banerjee has arrived from Lisek, a New Delhi. With Judy Shankar, Monadipa Banerjee, NDTV. News now of a major boat mishap in Assam. Two passenger boats collided on the Brahmaputra. The boat collision took place at uh, Nimati Ghat in Jorhat. According to sources, 42 people have been rescued. They're thought to be about 100 on board the two boats. One person is dead. The Assam government says 20 people at least are missing right now. Uh, the bigger boat had not 100, as I mentioned, but 120 passengers. Um, in fact, there are no reports of anyone being missing from that. So it's a smaller boat which had at least 70, perhaps more, uh, that remains a cause of concern. After Uttar Pradesh, children in Bihar are suffering from viral fever in large numbers. The outbreak is happening not just in the districts bordering Uttar Pradesh, but also in the capital Patna. Children's wards at all government hospitals are full, though the state government says the situation is under control. The children's ward at the Patna Medical College Hospital overflowing with patients, many of them locals, others referred here from district hospitals. The situation no different at the Nalanda Medical College Hospital. The four top Patna hospitals have 108 pediatric and neonatal intensive care beds. All 108 PICU and NICU beds reportedly are full. 87 patients are already admitted. In this case, there are 40% of children pneumonia. और निमोनिया आमतौर से जो है सर्दी खांसी के साथ शुरू होता है और फिर दो तीन दिन बाद ये इन्फेक्शन फेफड़ा में चला जाता है जिसके बाद बच्चे को हाई फीवर होता है और सांस चलता है तेज पेरेंट्स से द प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट्स विद फीवर देन कॉम्प्लिकेशंस सेट इन लाइक कन्वर्जेंस व्हिच दे कॉल चंकी फीवर अ टर्म दैट गेंड करेंसी ड्यूरिंग एन एक्यूट एनसेफेलाइटिस सिंड्रोम आउटब्रेक इन 2019 Though dozens of children have died in neighboring Uttar Pradesh from a very viral form of dengue, doctors in Patna are ruling that out as well as COVID. Corona is not in lockdown, the children were in the house. Some community may in a cross infection name who are we sabi but they do have community major and this gets I'll take it cross infection or I the government insists no need to panic as viral fever is routine at this time of the year and there have been similar outbreaks in the past but that is no relief for patients families staring at a looming third wave of the pandemic and overflowing children's ward with camera person Habib Ali and Manish Kumar Usama Shah for NDTV the National Investigating Agency has filed a charge sheet in the Antilia bomb scare case on Tuesday. Antilia is the residence of the Reliance uh, head Mukesh Ambani. As per the charge sheet, a cyber expert has claimed that the former Mumbai Police Commissioner Parambi Singh had given him 5 lakh rupees in cash in his office itself as payment for his services. It's the same cyber expert who allegedly prepared the report that said that the terror outfit Jaishul Hind had taken responsibility for the incident. The threatening poster was inserted allegedly by him in the main report on the insistence of Parambir Singh. Former Mumbai Police Commissioner Parambir Singh paid a cyber expert 5 lakh rupees in cash for fudging a report in the bomb scare outside the residence of Mukesh Ambani, according to a statement attached as part of the charge sheet in the case. Parambir Singh has been evading the police in other cases and a lookout circular has been issued against him. A statement from the cyber expert is part of the charge sheet filed by the NIA last week. The cyber expert had prepared the report that the terror outfit Jaishul Hind had taken responsibility for the incident where a SUV with gelatin stakes was parked close to the top industrialist's home, Antilia, in South Mumbai. The threatening poster was inserted by the expert in the main report on the insistence of Parambir Singh and attributed to the Jesh ul Hind, according to the cyber expert. Former Police Commissioner Parambir Singh had allegedly given him 5 lakh rupees in cash in his office itself as payment for his services, the statement says. The cyber expert told the NIA that it was a very confidential report as the Delhi police was also investigating the matter of Jashul Hind and that he was surprised that the report was leaked the next day. The NIA charge sheet says Assistant Police Inspector Sachin Vazey gave Pradeep Sharma, another encounter specialist, the contract to kill Mansukh Hirain. Vazey 
visited Pradeep Sharma's PS Foundation office and allegedly handed over bags full of bundles of Rs. 500 currency notes amounting to Rs. 45 lakh. The government says Anil Deshmukh was right in stating there were lapses. Jis tarah se char sheet saamne aai hai, saare sawal khade ho rahe hai ke jo experts ko manipulate karne ka kaam kiya ja raha hai, usse aaropi nahi banaya ja raha hai. Hume pahle din se shankha thi ke ye jo shada saara shadiyantra tha, usme commissioner sahab ki bhoomi ka thi. We want to ask a simple question to NIA, whether Sachin Vaze was reporting to Parambir Singh or Parambir Singh was reporting to Mr. Sachin Vaze. The 10,000 page chart sheet filed by the NIA doesn't go into the specifics of the connections of Parambir Singh, if any, in this conspiracy. But a statement attached with the chart sheet of a cyber expert shows how Parambir Singh was instrumental in highlighting the role of a terror outfit. A theory that has been completely junked by the NIA investigation. The question then, why hasn't the NIA elaborated or clarified on where Parambir Singh stands in all of this? In Mumbai, with Sunil Singh and camera person Sanjay Mandal, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. A quick look now at the Team India squad for the T20 World Cup. Kohli is a captain, Rohit Sharma, KL Rahul, Surya Kumar Yadav, Rishabh Pant. Ishan Kishan, Hardik Pandya, Ravinder Jadeja, Rahul Chahar, Ravi Chandran Ashwin, Akshar Patel, Varun Chakravarti, Jaspreet Bumrah, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar and Mohammad Shavi. There is a standby squad which has Shreya Sayar, Shardul Thakur and Deepak Chahar. So Ashwin uh, back in the T20 squad, four years uh, uh, wait for that. MS Dhoni has been appointed team mentor. Ravi Shastri remains head coach.